LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're going to install your key onto the keyboard. So let's start out by looking at the metal plates that are on the keyboard. You can see there's two hooks at the top here and two hooks at the bottom that are further away from each other. And make sure to look at the different keys because those metal plates can change positions. Sometimes the uh, the ones close together can be at the bottom or to the left and right. So that's going to determine the, p the position of these pieces here. Um, let's start out by clicking these two pieces together. What you want to do is uh, determine the position for both pieces first. Let's start with the larger piece. You can see it has two holes at the bottom. That's important uh, b because those two holes are going to go at the two holes that are separated from each other more. Uh, in this case they're at the bottom but like I said make sure to look at the different keys so make sure to uh, not put this piece upside down like that by feeling underneath the uh, vertical bars if you feel a bump that that side supposed to face the keyboard and on top it's just smooth so that faces up now that you know the position for that piece you get your next piece which is this it has um, two holes in, I mean, two sticks in the middle and two uh, sticks at the bottom. But uh, look carefully because it has, also has two sticks at the top, but those are shorter. So make sure not to put this piece upside down like that. By same thing, you know, if you feel two bumps here at the bottom uh... that's that faces the keyboard uh, on top it has to be smooth so now that you know the position for these pieces you put the uh... small piece over the large piece and then you just put the uh... top bar of the small piece underneath the top bar of the larger piece like that you hold it in place and then what you want to do is make the sticks in the small piece go into the holes in the larger piece so you just separate um, the uh, two pieces so that it has enough space to go into the hole you get the large piece separate it from the la uh, smaller piece and there you go. Now both pieces are just one piece. What you do next is you put the two bottom holes in the corner into the hooks like we said earlier. The, the hooks that are separated. You put it all the way in. Then you get something thin. I use a blade. Uh, I hold the bottom part down. And what you want to do is put the um, the blade in between the rubber cup and the plastic pieces and you push upward not against the keyboard downward but what we're trying to do is stretch the plastic pieces so that the next hook that are on the top can grab onto the plastic so let's go ahead and do that push upward and until you feel that it clicks make sure it clicks observe it closely and everything then you just get your key 
you put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. And that's it. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.